Oh, so now, speaking of the Migos, um, Quavo and Offset, or Neff and Few, the group name is Neff and Few now, dropped a song called Messy that seemed to confirm Sweetie has fucked one of his homeboys. And a lot of people are speculating that that homeboy was Offset. Honestly, I'm confused. Or did she fuck both of them? They're almost making it seem like Sweetie fucked Offset and Lil Baby, which are both, well, one is a group member, the other one's a label member that they're actually beefing with because Lil Baby has never gotten along with the Migos, I don't think, like, ever. I don't know who out of the members has an issue with them, but they've never stood side by side, ever, since they signed their deal. So that's all regular. But... Yeah, sweetie, apparently, rumor has it that she fucked Lil Baby and and Offset. I don't know, man. It's just, that's so weird. I saw a tweet that said, are you telling me that one pussy brought down the entire QC label? And I really want to know that. Like, what the fuck, man? Do we, do, does anybody believe sweetie's pussy is that good? Because I don't. I don't think it's that good. I don't think, I don't think it's that good to break up the whole team. And it's always like, why are these like, why are these niggas letting these women like break up their million dollar corporations? Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, because I remember when Sweetie posted that photo when she was shopping with the little baby. That was some thirsty ass shit she did in general. And then she was on Carisha, please, talking about, I'm not even trying to post my things no more because it's messy. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. It's all weird. But if Sweetie, if Sweetie literally was the downfall, I need to know how good Sweetie's pussy is because I don't think it's that great, honestly. I just don't believe it could be that great to where it was worth risking. Yo, this is the thing, bruh. When you're a celebrity... And you have the world, you have millions of dollars, and you can fuck any girl you want. Why are you fucking your homeboy's girl? You realize you can go on Instagram? Sweetie has a generic-ass look. You can go on Instagram and find a thousand girls that look just like Sweetie to fuck them that won't say nothing. Why don't people ever do that? Why don't you ever just hit, get a look-alike? Because honestly, the way this new fashion trend is, like with women's bodies and stuff like that, them getting like um, plastic surgery, fillers, BBLs, and things of that nature... It's like a lot of these chicks really do be looking the same, bro. Like this, the bad bitch prototype is a lot of chicks, bro. Like they're they they a lot of them look the same, bro. So like I feel like I feel like that's why we like I feel like that's why people are loving Ice Spice so much because she doesn't look like the typical chick. Body wise, she has that, but she's literally a ginger curly hair black girl from the fucking hood. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what makes her different. Visually, she looks different. Outside of just her having a, uh, a nice butt or whatever, but it's like a lot of these other chicks like that Kardashian format, this Jenner format, this uh, Sweetie format. A lot of these chicks look the same, bro. Like Young Miami looks good, but there's a lot of chicks that look like Young Miami, bro. Like y'all can't fuck her. Y'all can't fuck those chicks. The ones that nobody knows or nobody cares about that aren't dating your homeboys to keep your million dollar corporation going, like, it's obviously not about the look at that point. It's obviously, if this, if they're really, if she's really giving that pussy up, this is more spiteful. These are more, this is spiteful sex at this point. Like, I really don't fuck with this nigga or that's what the dude is saying. That's what I'm thinking the dude is saying. Cause that's like dude's ultimate get back, like fucking somebody's girl. You know what I'm saying? Like on some grimy shit. Like, when you don't like somebody, but then also that just says something about the girl like if you fuck your man's best, if you fuck your homeboy's, your best friend's girl, not only does it say something about you, it also says something about her, but I don't know. I feel like we always kind of forget about the girl part. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, a girl that'll fuck you, that was dating your homeboy, this bitch ain't shit, bro. Like at the end of the day, like at the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, we could not just look at the dude's actions. I feel like mutually they're both ain't shit together. You know what I'm saying? But that just seemed to kind of get ignored um, I don't know. That just kind of seems to get ignored and just not looked at. 
the girl doing it. It's fucking weird, man. I don't know. People are weird. But I've thought about that. It's like, yeah, why don't you just get you a, um, a lookalike? Why don't you just get you a lookalike that looks just like her? Like, I'm fixing the fan so it's blowing directly on me. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. It's 77 degrees in here anyway, so it is getting warm. Um, but I'm almost done. So, yeah, let's see. Okay, somebody just sent me a message on Facebook Messages. Um, stop fucking sending me messages, bro, on Facebook Messenger. I don't use that shit. I fucking hate Facebook Messenger. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> 